yesterday. Oh, thanks. Totally. I want to do it. Like, love it. <laughs> well, you know, my 10 year old took that picture. He was running behind me and I said, stop, here's my phone. Take my picture. <laughs> <laughs> all right um joy and lisa i apologize because i forgot to hit the record button before y'all introduced yourselves so um you won't be on the recording <laughs> all right um kelly kelly okay there's two kelly's and you both have kelly gardner and i want to call you winkles <laughs> you call me kelly winkles everyone calls me winkles still okay Anybody me before i was married called me winkles okay. so so I'm Kelly Winkles um, Gardner, and I am from around Tampa, but I live in Beaufort, Georgia, which is near Atlanta. Um, I have been a coach for like a month, and I don't even know that I would say I've been a coach. I signed up a month ago, but I'm slow to move into this process, so I'm looking forward to tonight. And the best thing that happened to me, my um, four-year-old started pre-K, so that was super exciting. And my two-year-olds are at preschool, but we don't really celebrate that. So, yay. Yay. <laughs> All right, Bridget, you're up. Okay, I'm Bridget McCormick. I live in Kingston Springs, which Tennessee, which is right outside of Nashville. Um, I have, I signed up in the very beginning of May, I think. Mm -hmm. That's all right, yeah. Um, and the most exciting thing that happened this week or something good that happened this week is it's been the first full week of school and I have survived out a nap. Thanks to shake off. <laughs> awesome. Hi, Laura. You're on. We see, I see you down there. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> I've had computer issues. Okay. Awesome. First week of school. All right. Kelly Gaines, the other Kelly G. You're up. Okay. Um. Can you guys hear me? Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, I live in Franklin, Tennessee. I've been a coach for, um, I guess, about three weeks now. Um, I'm also very new. And I guess the best thing that's happened to me is um, tomorrow is the first day of school for my son. Yay! So. Yay! <laughs> very happy. <laughs> All right, Laura, your turn. I'm Laura Crable. I've uh, been a co well, been a beef body coach since gosh, February, March, and I have done not so much with it. <laughs> so I have all these great ideas. I just have no time. So my biggest obstacle, I get up at 4.15, I work out, I work all day, I come home, got the kids, and by the time, I mean, they're still upstairs beefing off. Of course, it's first day of school, but so glad <laughs> summer is kind of winding down so that we can get back on a normal schedule. Um, and I like the partnership that I haven't done much with, with Bridget, but would love to get started on that. And the greatest thing, I would say I have gotten so organized over the last week. I've gotten, I've gone from over 700 emails, I'm down to 94, and I've got three pages of and I feel like if I can get my life kind of straightened up and in order, I can focus on each body more. So that's where I'm at. Okay. Oh, Angela, can you hear me? She just popped up. Hello. I see her. Okay, I'm going to give her a second. Angela, can you hear me? Okay. All right, we'll give it just one second. I have kids knocking at the door. Oh. <laughs> I had the dog knocking at the door a second ago. He was going crazy. Angela, can you hear me at all? All right. Well, hopefully she can pipe up here in a second if she can get it fixed. Um, all right, very, very good. Um, and y'all know me, I'm Holly, and I am in Franklin, Tennessee, just south of Nashville. That is my dog banging on the door, not, and he is seven pounds, not 50, but he will try to take the door down because I am in here and he is not. And um, best thing that has happened to me this week is also that 
Carter is starting school tomorrow and everyone keeps telling me he has a great teacher. So yay. <laughs> I don't know anything about her, but everyone says she's good. So that's very exciting because I get nervous about that every year. I don't know about y'all, but uh, so hopefully. Did you get? Huh? Who did you get? You got Miss Costello. Okay. Okay. All right. So let's get started so that we are not up all night long. Angela, can you hear us? No, I, I keep seeing her, but I can't. I'll keep checking in. Okay, so let me start off tonight really quick by saying that I know that you all may feel a little bit overwhelmed. Um, maybe you feel like you shouldn't be here or you can't find the stuff that you're looking for. You found it once and now you can't find it again or remember where it's at. Um, you may have a lot of questions all the time. Um, you may not know how to answer questions that people ask you in your groups and things like that. Um, and you might feel like you're never ever going to be able to figure this out. So let me just say that I felt the same way when I first started. And um, there are still some days that I feel like that, that I can't find my own documents that I know where I place them. I have to think about it. Um, but I want to tell you too that you should be here. You will figure it out. Once you start doing things on a regular basis, everything just falls into place. Um, it's just like anything. The more you do it, the more comfortable you'll be with it. And um, if you guys can commit to be here in a year, you will never regret it. Um, you will see a huge just change in your confidence and um, your income and just everything. It's, it's huge. So I would like you all, no matter how frustrated you get on certain days or any days that you feel overwhelmed, um, just breathe in and breathe out and just know that, you know, this is your business. And if you can't answer somebody's question, that's okay. Just tell them that you will find out and get back to them. No problem. And if you have questions, you know, ask away. So, um, I just wanted to say that cause I know that it can be really overwhelming and I also want to tell you that this is this first week, the amount of information that came at you guys is the most. It's not going to be that much coming through, but it just is a lot just at the beginning. So what I wanted to talk to you all first about tonight is um, someone is trying to call in, but I can't figure out what's going on. Someone disappeared. Um, okay. So um, we're going to talk about inviting inviting people to challenge groups, okay? Um, so this is really important because um, I know I gave you guys, hello? Okay, I know I gave you all a lot of information um, yesterday and today about how to invite people to challenge groups and um, whatnot. And the reason that we're gonna spend some time on this is because um, if you aren't inviting anyone to your challenge groups, then you're not going to have any challenge groups. You won't have any customers. And um, so then you won't really be able to actually um, coach anyone. Um, just to give you all an example, and I'm going to use Lisa as this example, and, and you all, some of you all heard this in the group. So in our team cup group, I gave them a hundred dollars for a hundred invite challenge. And I told them if they invited a hundred people in the month of July, and they could show me their list of a hundred and people, 100 people they talked to about Beachbody, about their challenge group, and invited them that I would give them $100. I owe Lisa $100. She did it. So, yay, Lisa. Uh, and and four. it shows. Yeah. Four. Very good. And it totally shows. She had great responses. She had really great success club points. It just goes to show that <coughs> she probably had, you know, 40% of people that might have told her no or more, but a lot of people said yes too. And so, yeah, people are going to tell you no sometimes, no biggie. Don't take it personally and just move on to the next person. Um, in this business, the number one thing that I have learned is no actually never means no. It means not now. So um, it really, really does. And you all will see that. So um, there are several ways to invite people um, the first one that we are going to talk about is email. So your first email to your friends, families, coworkers, whoever you put on your invitation list, um, has two purposes. Um, I know a few of you have already done this, um, cause you've run a challenge group already or are in the process right now. So, um, but we're still going to go over it just a little bit. 
Um, but first of all, your initial email that you send out is to let people know what it is you're doing. Um, you're basically, you know, your new gig as a beach body coach and why you're doing it, which is your story. Um, that is why, um, that's the first part. And then the second part of the email is to basically invite them to join you, um, in your first challenge group. So, um, when I asked y'all at the beginning of the week to do the video of your why, I've gotten a couple of them. Um, the biggest part of that is to write it out. Um, even the why video that I did, I wrote it out before I recorded it. Um, you just want to be able to have a good understanding yourself of why you're doing this so that, um, and it doesn't have to be fancy or anything. Like I said, it can be five or six sentences. It doesn't have to be anything huge. Just why you want to do it, your experience, your story. And that's what you're doing is sharing with other people what you've experienced, how it's helped you in your life, and how you want to be able to pay it forward to other people. Um, there are several examples, emails, if you want to look at those. There's a file in the Team Be Fit. You can look at several example emails. Um, so then we come to the Facebook posts. So um, here are the key points to consider about the Facebook posts. And pretty much all of this that we're going over right now is kind of a summary of things that we've come up, talked about this week, but trying to kind of cover the key points. So when you are doing a Facebook post about your challenge group, let's talk about the wording. It does not have to be long. Keep it short, five or six sentences. Um, these are the basic things to include in an introductory post about a first challenge group. What you've been doing, um, what your results are, how the group support helped that you'd like them to join you, how joining the group will benefit them, and then a call to action like message me now or contact me for details or comment below and I'll get back to you. Um, that's pretty much the key pieces that need to be in there. Um, for example, you know, if somebody's been doing the 21 day fix, you know, I've been doing this great program, the 21 day fix, I've lost, you know, 10 pounds and 15 inches. Um, I feel really great and I have a lot of energy from the Shakeology I've been drinking. Um, I know I would have quit if it hadn't been for the support of the other ladies in my online group. Um, I would love for you all to join me in September and let's do this together. Um, I would, you know, we'll all work together and help you, you know, reach your goals too. Um, message me now for details. So it's pretty simple. Um, then we're going to talk about the picture that you put with this first post. Um, Lisa can definitely tell you, um, cause she's, I think the only one on here that's done one so far, putting a transformation photo with your post about your challenge group is huge. You will get the best responses if you have a picture because people can hear you all day long, but they want to see the difference. Um, if you don't have a personal transformation pit, picture that's okay I have a bunch of them I've been saving them so let us know and we will find one for you for whatever you know you want to do we will find a before and after I know Penny she's not on here tonight she's on vacation but I know Penny has used other people's before and after pictures um, we'll get one for you um, then the other key about this is to um, post this post with your wording and your picture um, at different times of the day, um, maybe every other day. So you don't want to post it every single day at the same time all the time. If you want to change up the wording a little bit, that's fine. Um, but just post it kind of every other day for about two weeks at all different times of the day. Um, the reason I say that is because you guys are going to need to kind of see when your people are online. And it's a, I would say in the evening is, Probably the most people are online after they've gotten their kids to bed, but you never know. You may have a lot of friends that are up at five o'clock in the morning. So just kind of play around with it a little bit. Um, then the other thing that you can be doing on Facebook as you are promoting a challenge group is that every day 
a couple times a day, just post things generally related to the program you're doing, a program you like, Shakeology. I mean, it can just be a picture of you drinking your shake, talking about how you have energy, something you liked about your workout, something that somebody said in the group that really motivated you that day. Just basically just comment on your, your life with Beachbody here and there a couple times a day. Just so people are hearing about it, you're just sharing with them, but you're not necessarily with those posts saying, you know, come do this with me. Um, here's a no-no. Don't put your website link, your purchasing link, the www team beach body backslash is your name. Don't put that on a post ever. Okay. Um, unless you get to a point where you actually have a specific website that has valuable content to it, like a blog or different things like that. Um, you want people to talk to you before they buy anything because our job is to make sure that the people we are talking to are being paired with the right program for them. Um, you don't want somebody to just get excited who hasn't worked out in six months and they go and buy insanity. Okay, that's not going to be good for them. That's not going to be good for you. Um, they're probably going to get hurt. So that's why I say don't ever put your shop link and don't ever put how much the program is in your post. Ever. <laughs> okay, I'm going to say that because some people will see a dollar amount and they won't ever ask you another question. They're just going, I'm not paying that. Whereas if you've spent the time talking to someone, investing in them, finding out, you know, what they really need, what we have to offer, that kind of thing, they, you've established trust with them, you've shown that you know your stuff, and um, it, it will change. Oh, some people, you know, will be more willing to spend the money once they understand what they're spending their money on versus you just saying, hey, buy this program for $60. Um, so here's what I want y'all to know too. If nobody likes your post, it doesn't mean they didn't see it. So, you know, sometimes people see things all the time and they don't comment or like. I don't think that that's going to happen to any of you. Um, but just in case it does, just keep in mind that it doesn't mean they didn't see it. They just may not be ready to kind of put, put it out there that they're interested in what you're talking about. Um, does anybody have any questions about that? Well, I found with that, like, there's times where, like, you have two people who like it, but I'll have several people who will message me because they don't want anybody to know they're trying, they're, they're so scared of failure, they don't even want to say that they like it, right? because they're putting that out there. I, that's what I've kind of found throughout this month. And so. honestly, that's better. I, I would love it if every person who was thinking about it or didn't have a confidence to come out there would, would message you. Um, but you will find that a lot of people are voyeurs. They're going to like look and watch for a while before they take action. They kind of want to check it out and see if you're for real and if this thing is for real and are people actually getting results. But yeah, that's really good. Anybody Holly, else? Holly, Tony Robbins actually says that it takes someone about seven different times of seeing the same or similar message to actually make action. That's totally true. Like that's an average. My husband handed me a, some sort of motivational thing that said the same thing on it the other day. He sent it to me in an email, <laughs> which is great. It's a good thing for me. probably Tony Robbins. It probably <laughs> was. Um, if I turned the computer around, you guys could see the mountain of self-personal development books. I have my own personal library here because um, I've been making fun of Chris for years for reading this stuff, and now he thinks it's so funny that I'm reading it too. Um, <laughs> Anybody else have any, anything that's come up on that yet? Okay. What about, what about like saying it's a discounted price or it's on sale for the month or that kind of thing? Um, don't do that in the very... Are you supposed to like offer or say that it's in a limited amount to get people to actually... You can, you can. I would make that a separate post from the one that you're actually putting out about your challenge group. I, you, I think it's totally fine to put that in a different post. Be like, by the way, T25 is on sale this month for, you know, in a challenge pack, um, you know, just till the end of the month. So you're, you're giving that information out there for sure. But um, I wouldn't necessarily include it 
in whatever post it is that you're using to like really open up communication with people about joining your challenge group because you can get to that in the conversation with them um that it's on special and that kind of thing so definitely like i definitely did with pio and three day refresh posted about you know the great price or whatever yeah mm -hmm. you, you can here and there i just wouldn't necessarily put it in with that particular post but that would be a great post for other time of day or another okay. post um so here's the kicker and this is really important facebook posting is awesome you will get traction from that but you absolutely have to invite people individually in private facebook messages um you just need to because there will be people like anybody who was on your initial list that you sent the email to if they're on facebook too then send them a message on facebook like ann said more times more times you present something to someone, you don't want to be creepy or anything, but you do want to, you do want to invite them personally. Um, and what I'm going to suggest for y'all as we start doing this next week, that on Monday night, about nine o'clock, if you are going to do the challenge group with me in September, I know a couple of you have um, some things going on. So you may want to, you know, you've already done a group, so you may want not want to, but for those of you for sure that have not done a challenge group yet, I would really highly strongly encourage y'all to do it with me. Um, in September, I think it'll really help everyone to be able to showcase their strengths and also, um, get your toes wet without feeling, oh, <laughs> without feeling, he's going to bed. Uh, <laughs> Um, without, you know, eliminating some of that fear and intimidation of doing something new. So um, I'm going, if you post your first thing with your transformation picture and your first post about nine o'clock on Monday night, then on Tuesday, you can start individually messaging people and this about it. And this is why I say that it gives people a little bit of time to see your post. So some people that you're thinking about inviting may have seen your Facebook post. And so they may already be sort of thinking about it. Um, and then it's also really easy to open up the conversation. So this is what a Facebook message would be like when you're inviting someone to your group. It does not have to be lengthy. You do not have to give them every last bit of detailed information. This is, this is would be, hi, Kelly. I have a small, you know, private women's online fitness and nutrition support group coming up. Did you see my post? Could you use some extra accountability and motivation to reach your goals? Would you like to hear more about it? That's it. And they will either respond or they won't. They'll either say yes or no. Um, a lot of times people say, sure, tell me about it. Or you can say, another example would be like, um, hey, Laura, I saw you liked my post about my upcoming online challenge um, or the 21 day fix or my post about psychology, whatever post it is. Um, it's been really great for me. Would you like to hear more about it? So definitely, you know, if anybody comments on or likes a beach body specific post, they've opened up an invitation for you to at least ask them about it. Okay. Um, some people who have some really good posts for you all to check out right now, um, Penny has had some, and Lisa, Lauren, Adrian, um, they've all done some really great posts of late. Um, so check out their pages and you can kind of see what they've been doing. They've all had pretty good responses. So, and they're all newer coaches. And I don't know, have you posted about a group yet? I have posted about a group. Okay. I don't know if I, I don't know if I saw yours or not. Um, some people have been tagging me in them here and there so I can see them. Um, so those are just some to check out. You can always, and here's the thing I want to tell y'all what I would like for this team. If it works, then share it with everybody and just take it and make your own. If you are scrolling through Instagram and Facebook and you see a cool post, then say, okay, I see that cool post and now I'm going to, um, make it mine and use it. Like, that's okay. So, um, you know, if you're doing well, everyone's doing well. So if, if you see a post on my page and you like what you see, um, I've been doing a lot lately of even general generic Pinterest fake posts and then just taking the wording and putting them on a real picture of my life. 
you know, anything like that is, is okay. People like those better than, you know, there's the stock pictures. You can definitely use some of those, but anything that you can just use to share what you're doing, but make it related to what your objective is really good. Do y'all have any questions about that? I have a question about the new Facebook Messenger. Are you did you download that? Everybody's up in arms about like it, getting access to your personal files. So I just didn't know if people have done research. Are we all going to have to use that? Um, I don't think so. I have it on my phone. I downloaded it as an app, and so it just brings up all the messages. So I don't have to like go into Facebook. I think that's totally up to you. I did not know that there was a controversy about it. Okay. Well, you should you should be able to just go into your Facebook app. And just do that and look at your messages. Just okay. easy. I just loaded it. So for me, I can just go, it just goes, you know, shows me and then I can boom, boom, boom and go down. Okay. That's totally up to you. Anybody else? Okay. Oh, Holly, the um, tagging on Instagram for the team be fit one so that we can see. Yes. Each other. yes. So. I wrote down all the questions. We're going to definitely get Okay. Yeah, we'll get into Instagram shortly. Um, okay, so we've talked about posting and inviting. So this is step number two. You know, we keep, there's been lots of, you keep hearing the five step invitation process. It could be 15 steps, it just depends on how it goes. Um, but no, step number two is, is seriously the most important step of all, okay? So um, what do you say to somebody when they tell you, yes, I would like to know more about your challenge group, or they message you like they did with Lisa and say, I saw your post about such and such, can you tell me more about it? Do not go directly in and start dumping every single detail about what a challenge group is on them. Oh, we're gonna make this group, it's a program, da -da 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 shakeology, da -da -da. Da -da -da. don't do that, because people will get really overwhelmed and, um, they don't necessarily understand it all. So this is where you start asking questions. This is where you find out what is their why. Um, what are their goals? Why do they want to do this? So this is pretty much what I send verbatim. And this is, this is written in forms and things in your challenge. But I do not change this very much. If someone wants to know more about my challenge group, even if the first thing they say to me, especially if the first thing they say to me is how much is that? <laughs> it doesn't matter. I say, hey, so-and-so, I am so excited that you are interested in my upcoming group. I will send you all the details in the next message. But first, I'm curious to know what makes you interested? What are your goals? The more I know, the better I can help you, okay? So, this opens up dialogue between you and your customers so that you can find out more. The more you know, the easier it will be to determine which fitness program is a good match for your customer. Um, for example, somebody who likes cardio, who doesn't have a lot of time, and doesn't want to use any equipment because maybe they travel for their job, ding, 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 Focus T25. Okay, that's a great fit for them. Um, someone who tells you they have trouble with overeating and um, eating the right kind of foods. Hello, 21 Day Fix. Uh, somebody who runs or tells you they're, you know, they're, they're an athlete, but they're having, you know, injury issues or they're not flexible. Hi-yo. Uh, I have a lack of energy. I have cravings. I want sweets all the time, carbs and sugar. Hello, Shakeology. Okay. So, um, or they, they're talking about, I'm not motivated. I don't want to do it there's your challenge group. So you can see how getting this information from them helps everybody. It helps you to really know where they're coming from. It helps them to be able to verbalize it because they may not know how to tell it to you until you start asking questions. Like, you know, they, they come back and they, they give you a little bit. Ask them several questions. Get in there and find out what's going on with them. Um, but then it allows you here to use what they told you to help them understand why what we have is the right fit for them. So something like, thanks for sharing your goals for me. So I hear you saying that X, Y, and Z are definitely roadblocks right now for you to reaching your weight loss goals. Does that sound right? 
So when they say yes, you can say, I find that true to be, that to be true for maybe most moms or full-time employees, wives, et cetera, whatever it is. I definitely think this challenge group can help you with those extra pounds. Um, here's how it works. Then you can start giving them details. Then you can start saying, hey, based on what you've told me, I think these two programs would be good for you. I'm going to give you information about both of them. Here's a video. And then, let, and then I'm going to get back with you. Do you have time to watch these today? Uh, if they say yes or no, I can do it tomorrow. Okay, I'll get back with you on Friday and, and touch base with you and see if you have any questions and, and do you like it. Um, another thing way you can respond if there's a, after they, you've gotten a lot of information from them is thank you for being so open and honest because they have. I mean, they may know you, but they are giving you a lot of personal information about themselves and about things that they don't feel good about themselves for. And they're trusting you. I mean, they really are trusting you to be able to help them, to be able to be compassionate and to be able to, you know, help them see that they can make a change. So, you know, tell them you have great goals based on everything you've given me. You're a perfect fit for my upcoming group. The program or programs I'm recommending for you is blank because it will do blank, which is whatever they told you earlier they needed. And the Shakeology is going to help you do this. Um, these programs are going to give you the success you deserve. Um, we're going to give you the support and structure to get your goal met. Uh, here are some video links if you want to send them some video links. Um, what do you think? Do you have any questions? Does this sound like something that would work for you? Always end with a question. Always. Um, my favorite question of all is, are you in? <laughs> You've all been asked that before. <laughs> are you in? Because you have to give people, they, they, if you don't ever ask them that question, they're never going to give you an answer. They're going to, they're going to sit on the fence. You know, like you've asked them a question you have to get that yes, no question in there. So, it is so funny to me. I don't ask the exact question of, are you in? But every person who is ready to order says, I am all in. And I just laugh as soon as they say, it's like they're le like, as soon as, Hey, how are you? I am all in. That's like that. It's the first thing they say to me. And it's so great because you know they're ready. You know they want it. Because truthfully, they either are in or they're out. Like at some point, they got to make a decision. So, and that, and as you get, as we get to talking about, you know, sign up deadlines and stuff, you all will see how people, you finally give them that, like, I need to know by Monday. And then all of a sudden, you know, people will email, message me at midnight on Monday. <laughs> Like I'm in, you've had two weeks. All right. Um, so there are all kinds of scripting resources for you guys. You don't feel like you have to re-listen to this video conference and write down everything I'm saying right now. All of this is in Team Be Fit and Team Endure Facebook groups um, and even information in your back office. Today's posts in our coach apprenticeship group lead you to a lot of that information specifically. Um, Click on the file section in the Facebook group, drop down, you'll find it. Um, I think I even gave you all direct links on how to find some of this information in your back office. So start looking that over and see what sort of speaks to you, like what feels like you, kind of how you would want to respond, and um, make it your own. And this is what I'm going to really suggest, and, the, and I still do this to this day. Once you start responding to more and more people and you have this back and forth, you're going to find that the things that you're saying are fairly similar in a lot of situations. So copy and paste them if it's appropriate and modify it for the person that you have and kind of come up with your own script. Does that make sense? That, that is your words, how you like to talk to people, but follows, follows the general plan. Um, because after you've sat there, you know, 20 times and said, hi, so-and-so, would you like to join my women's group? It starts in session, you know, da, 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 da. You, you're going to just copy and paste it. But, you know, it took me a little bit to figure out how I wanted to word things. I still play around with how I'm going to explain Shakeology to someone, how I want to explain a certain program or the challenge group or what we do as coaches. So, um, you will definitely be able to do some of that. Do y'all have questions? Okay. 
Okay. All right, so we're wrapping out the last little part right here, and then we're gonna, I'm gonna go over some questions that y'all emailed me. So where are we going from here? What's the plan? Now, I know you all have your little schedule that I sent you. I was super proud of myself that I figured out how to do that. Um, I am the least Excel anything that requires you using graphs and crap. I don't know, I'm not good at it. So um, I'm very proud of my calendar. <laughs> it took me way longer than it should have, but that's okay. So first challenge group. Now I know this doesn't necessarily apply to a couple of you because you've already done it, but I want you to say this, no worries, okay? All right, you're gonna do your first challenge group with me and the other new coaches, okay? We're gonna start on the first Monday of the month usually, but except September, we're gonna start on Tuesday because of Labor Day, okay? So that's September 2nd. Um, I will schedule at least one post a day for this group. You know how any, any group you all have been in, there's been at least a post that comes from me every day. I will do that. And then what I'm gonna ask you all to do is to be a part of the group and to, um, if you wanna post additional posts, you wanna add a recipe, you want to answer questions, make comments, that's what I, that's, go for it. I want y'all to be in there doing that. I've been doing a group with Penny right now and it's been great. And honestly, it's been great for me too. I love having somebody else in there and she says things and has experiences that are different from me and I love it. I think it's great and I think it'll be great for your challengers too who may at some point be your coaches to see that all kinds of people with all kinds of personalities and styles can be beach body coaches. That it's not just one person who does it one way. Um, so as you start doing the posts next over the next couple weeks, as you start inviting people, I'm going to go ahead and get, open this group and you just start putting people in there. I'm going to put, put y'all in there and just add them in and then we'll all get rolling together. Okay. So it's going to be a lot of fun and I'm, I'm open to ideas. And it, even if you've been a coach for a while and you want to do this group with me, then come on. I'm, I, it's open to all my coaches, anybody who wants to do this. Um, it's, it's totally, totally up to you. But, um, but brand new ones, I definitely want y'all to do it with me. Um, so here's kind of a timeline of how it's gonna work, okay? So this first week of training, I've basically given you all the tools to start inviting people, okay? So over the weekend, catch up on your homework, but mostly what you'll be doing is finishing up that email, creating your Facebook post, getting a before and after picture, and then reading over the invitation scripts, like the responding and inviting scripts so that you're ready, okay? On Monday morning, I would like y'all to send out your newly created email to whoever you had on from your seven day quick start, whoever you have on your invite list. Go ahead and send your email out. Don't freak out if nobody responds or only two people respond. Again, people, some people are on email, some people are on Facebook, some people are on Instagram, like they're gonna respond at whatever is fastest for them. On Monday night, I want you to go ahead and post your challenge group post, okay? Um, with your transformation picture or a transformation picture that I can give you, and I want you all to do it about 9 o'clock p.m. Because I found that is when most people that are in the demographic of, because the people who are your challengers are generally in a, they're like you, they're, they're most of them are going to be moms or people who, not necessarily, but they put their kids to bed and then they get online, okay? Um, and then on Tuesday, start doing your individualized Facebook invitations to the people on your list. And you don't have to do them all on Tuesday if you don't want to. You know, don't feel like you gotta sit there for two hours and invite people. Do, do three to five of them a day, depending on how long your list is, and just send them out, because that way as people respond to you, um, then you can respond to them without all of a sudden your message box blows up and you have 20 messages. Um, keep your posts up. We're going to have two weeks to do all this posting and inviting. Okay. So it's lots of good time. Anybody add people to your invite list as they like your posts, they comment on your post or they send you messages saying they want more information. Okay. Um, don't leave out those likes. Okay. I, I now said this on the team dir because or team, no, whatever team, call that was horrible with this recast and the blackouts and all that. Um, they may have just liked your post because they like you 
or they thought it was a cool picture or they're proud of you or whatever. They may not have even thought about it at all. They're just like, like, okay. But they open, just open the door for you to start a conversation with them, whether they knew it or not. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, because you're not doing anything weird or creepy, you're just saying, Hey, I saw you like my post. Um, about how I, you know, whatever, whatever, and my group, and I like the program, and I'd love for you to do it with me, want to know more, okay? So then we talked about posting every day, about two times a day, comment, picture, anything of the following, something you've learned or liked from being part of the challenge group, uh, something you've learned or liked about doing the specific program you're working on, um, what you like about Shakeology, Something about how the group or program has improved your life. It can be non-scale victories, like more energy, I fit into my clothes better, I feel stronger, I can keep up with my kids better than I could a couple weeks ago. Whatever it is, it doesn't have to be, you know, I lost this many pounds. Um, share a healthy meal you're eating. Like, oh, I'm eating this Kelly and her deconstructed burrito that y'all are going to find out about. It's yummy, yummy. 21 day fix approved, you know. Put it out there, a recipe you find that you like. It can be anything. Sweaty workout picture. Um, I know videotaping yourself can feel really weird if you're not used to it. It has taken some serious getting used to. But if you're feeling like you want to go that route, you know, video yourself. You're doing a move from one of your workouts and put it out there and be like, hey, try this for a minute today. See what you think. You know, people really like those. Um, anything like that. And then every other day, at different times a day, put out that invitation post. You want to change up the picture a little bit. You want to change up that wording a little bit, but just make sure about every other day you kind of put that one out there that, that has it. And if you want to change up what you say, these are the things that I think you should be sure to include. What you like about what you're doing, what it's doing for you that's positive, who is the program for, and then invite you to join me. Pretty straightforward, okay? So, don't worry about putting a deadline, a sign-up deadline, this first week, okay? After this first week, then the next week when you start putting those Facebook posts out there, start putting a sign-up deadline. Hey, seven days left. Deadline to enroll is April, um, August 18th. You know, that's when you can start putting some of that, like Ann said, kind of putting some time pressure on them to get them, to, if they haven't committed yet, to start thinking about committing to the program, okay? Um, and that's when you can throw in, you know, like I've got this many spots left or, um, you know, just a few more days, get back to me. Um, when I do my groups, the deadline to enroll for a challenge group should always be at the least one week before your start date. Um, you will have people that roll in there at midnight and the next morning. I let them in anyway, usually. Um, and just tell them, hey, your stuff may not arrive until Tuesday, but that's okay. Get in there and we'll get going. Um, you just want everybody to have time to get their products, to read things over, to be ready. Um, so it's really about shipping and just making sure that they have what they need. Um, so for the sec September challenge group, um, the cutoff deadline is going to be Tuesday, August 26th. So that's one week. Any questions? Which workout will, will they be doing for September? This will be a multi-program group. They can do whatever workout they want to do. Oh, okay. I have a program guide, and so does Beachbody. That's a multi-program guide, so it's designed for a group that has mixed programs. Um, so, yeah. So it could be any, anything. I have a feeling we'll have a lot of 21-day fix people in there because most of you have done that program, and that's your favorite, which is great. Um, but with T25 being on sale this month, um, Pio being new, three-day refresh, um, you know, different people might like different things. But, um, yeah, it's going to be a multi-program group, so, which are a lot of fun. Um, I haven't done one of those in a while, actually. I, it seems like people all end up doing the same thing, but um, I used to have a lot of them. And it is fun, and it also exposes people to other programs and different things that maybe they'd like later. So... What about someone who is just going to do Shakeology? Totally fine. Put them in there. Because they may just be doing Shakeology now, but when they start hearing about what other people are doing or different workouts, they may be like, oh, maybe I really want to do that PIO or that T25. 
So you never know. But yeah, um, if somebody's just doing the Shakeology, you know, you just want to make sure that they know that they should be working out, doing something, whatever, for 30 minutes, five to six days a week. <laughs> I have, um, I have an interesting thing that's happened. Okay. Um, my group was closed, but now I have it private because I actually had people who they had friends and they invited them into my group. Uh, uh, and it's weird. Honestly, one of them is in my group and it's really odd. Um, that has not really uh, happened to me before. I, cause you, you might need to change your privacy settings on your group. Like you said, I, my groups are all closed. I don't keep them as secret, but I keep them as closed. Um, and usually I think you can go into your settings and make it so that the only person who can add people to groups is the administrator, which is you. I think there's an option that says, you know, like your members of the group can add people, but I'm pretty sure that there's an option in there, Lisa, where you can fix it, where the only person who can add anybody is you or someone else that you assign as an administrator. So like for the September group, I will set any coaches up who put people on there as administrators. Yeah. I, I looked at it. I changed it to private. Um, I, it said, I still, I was only the one who could approve everybody, but I didn't find it where I was the only one who could invite someone. Uh, um, I'm going to make myself a note to look at that and, and see if I can give you specific ways to do that. Um, it's, a, it's a really tricky place. Yeah. That yeah. has not happened to me before. So or if it has, I have had something set where I can't see it. So, um, okay. okay. Anybody else got questions? Before we go into the questions you sent me online today. Y'all um, Yeah, go ahead, Joy. I just wanted to ask, um, on the homepage of the Beachbody Coach, mm -hmm. is there a specific place that we can go to see what's on sale each month? Um, yes. Your, um, okay, in your homepage, in your Coach Online office, mm -hmm. on the right side is always breaking news. Okay, yeah. It will... Anything that's promotional happening with Beachbody will always be in the breaking news. Um, you will also, um, are you all getting emails from Beachbody with promotional information? Yes. Newsletters, um, the team coach newsletter once a week. Yeah. Um, that always has promotional stuff in it. I will always get the promotional information. All diamond coaches usually find out what the next month's sale challenge packs are the night before. So as soon as I know something, I try to get it out to you guys as fast as I can through Team Fit. Okay, thanks. Anybody else? Okay. Um, okay, so Kelly asked a really good question this morning. What do you do if someone is interested in doing one of your groups in a program, but they are not on Facebook? Okay. So that is kind of tricky, but... I, um, I have not done a group like this per se, but I have had people that have done this. Um, so I check in on them on email. So that's going to be something I, I don't have a great answer for you on that Kelly, like on how to do it. Um, I'm thinking that you could do it via email. The only problem is, is that it's going to be hard for them to interact with each other. I mean, you can interact with them unless you make it a group email. That's one thing. And then you just do reply all, reply all, reply all every day and put the post out there and then they can comment through email. That might be one way you could do it if you had a few of them. Does that make sense to any of you else? No, another way you can have group interactions on email. Does that make sense? Anything you can do on Instagram? I don't know how to do a group on Instagram. I don't know that you can do that. Okay. Because I have a few, the two of them that are not on Facebook, they are on Instagram. You could, you could probably, oh, you go could ahead. probably tag something, just like the yeah. Team Be Fit, right? Yeah, you probably could. Um, and maybe you could do it that way, do the email for the post, the written piece, but if you want to post pictures, if they want to do that part where they post food or they post sweaty workout pictures, if they're comfortable doing that on Instagram, then maybe create a hashtag like 
Kelly's group or whatever, you know? And so those pictures all go to the same place. Oh, does that make sense? Okay. Yeah, it's hard when somebody doesn't want to be on Facebook. My mom is not on Facebook. So neither is one of my sister in laws. So um, it does make it hard. So, um, and you asked about, oh, sorry, question? Are they, are they coaches? How does that affect them? Um, I do not know any beach, but well, no, that's not true. Um, there's a girl that I used to work with um, that is a beach body coach and she's not on Facebook. I don't know how she does her business. She must just call people and email and that kind of thing. Okay. So maybe she does video conferences. I guess that would be an idea too, Kelly. You could try to do something like this, like one, once a week so that they could all talk to each other, kind of have meetups. Um, Anne asked me about how do you find other coaches in the area to do a Super Saturday? I don't know. <laughs> I didn't get that question in enough time to find out. So uh, that's actually a really good question because I would like Sarah and I want to do one again here. And so it would be nice to know how to contact other coaches. And I know there's a way because there's a way to find out if there's one happening in their area. So you should. Well, I saw that. Okay. If there's not. There's only one in the whole state that's okay. someone up to host so but I could I couldn't see where the other coaches were in the state and I don't know if you can do that there might be a way um another option would be to ask in team next level because Michelle might know how to do that um or somebody might know um how to do that but I did not I do not know how to do that um I don't know why you're not getting your e-cards <laughs> That you're it's really strange. I mean, I, I like send them to myself in like four different emails and they just never show up and I have the right email address on the account. It's just really bizarre because I've tried to send some out and then I never receive them myself. Are other people receiving them? No. Okay. Um, try to send one to me and if okay. no one receiving, I would call coach relations about that and tell them I am sending e-cards nobody's getting them and see uh -huh. what they say because that's a sounds like a technical issue and it could be something right. as simple as there's some button you or box right. you can check somewhere i just right. don't know okay um this is jumping a <laughs> yeah. little bit but um in hootsuite yes when you go to connect some of the picture image links mm -hmm. they're broken links so if you're having any trouble just know Sometimes when the link goes down to the next line, there might be a space. If it doesn't load, that's what's happening. Okay. Yes, and Hootsuite is, um, I don't love the way they let you attach pictures because it has that little, sometimes pictures don't fully come in to the group or they have that weird little W alley, blah, blah, blah stuff on them. Um, I tried for a while not attaching the pictures, but then I didn't have time to get in the group every day and put a picture. So I just went ahead and I do attach my pictures in um, Hootsuite. And if I get in the group and it just looks really bad, I delete it and then up upload it back up into the directly into the group. Um, I have tested most of the pictures that I use. If you all want, I have created my own posting guides for a few programs um, where I've taken you know, Beachbody has those challenge group guides for all the programs in the back office. Um, but I've taken over time, taken bits and pieces from different ones that I like and kind of put them together. And I have one for the fix. I have a T25. So if you're doing one of those groups and you would like to have a copy of mine, I'm happy to send it to you. I'll email it to you just so you can see if you'd like to use anything from it. So, um, Okay, so this, Anne, you asked me a question about your leg getting inactive. Um, and this is going to get into a, a little bit of what we're going to talk about next week. Okay. But, um, the reason that's happening is because you only have two coaches. You have one on your right and one on your left. Right. And one of them went inactive, which means that they did not get at least 50 personal volume points. So they either they didn't get their Shakeology that month. So coaches under you have to stay active for you to hold your rank status. So they, and, and we talk that volume, we're going to talk about what that means and everything, but just the short, short version, every dollar amount you spend on something in Beachbody, be it a challenge back, a, 
program, Shakeology, has a point value associated to it. There's a PV or a personal volume, and then there's team volume, and it's not important right now to differentiate between those two. But what is important to know is that to be an active coach, you have to be having at least 50 personal volume. So basically you need to be selling at least about $50 worth of stuff. Monthly. Right. Which most all of you are on Shakeology, so that covers it, period. So you don't have to worry about it. Um, but there are coaches, you know, who for whatever reason they had to stop at Shakeology or couldn't afford it. But you could buy a couple boxes of bars and some energy and endurance and hit 50 P PV. If you right. need, if you, for whatever reason, something's come up and you can't afford your Shakeology and you haven't made a sale, but you want to stay active, message <laughs> and we'll, we'll talk through what you could do to make that happen. Um, but typically most all coaches are on Shakeology monthly. And so it, well, this is my mom. And so like they're sharing Shakeology right. or whatever my dad orders it, you know? So. Okay. My, my dad orders, he's, he's one, he was one of my first two coaches. He, he orders two boxes of bar and energy endurance every month. So that's his 50. Cause he doesn't drink. He and my mom share it too sometimes. So, um, because they're just like that. But um, no, because I just didn't know about the, the And thing. you asked me if you can move people around. Yeah. You can't anymore. Um, you've never really been around to move. Like once you guys start adding coaches, and we're gonna really get into this next week, so I don't want you to worry about too much about it right now. But um if you are about to add a coach and you know they're about to sign up message me really quick before you give them the information to do that. Cause what I want to do is go in and look at where you are. And then I can tell you based on who it is you have signing up better where they should be. Like Kelly signed her husband up last week. Typically if you are signing your spouse up as a coach under you, you want them to be on your weaker leg. Okay everybody's going to have a stronger and a weaker side, depending on which side I put you on and which side I'm on, you know, like it just kind of works out that way. And it goes into your bonus cycling and everything else. But, um, it's good to have your spouse on your weak leg because you can make sure that they're getting their volume. You can make sure that they're not going to go inactive because they are your spouse or so family member. So if one of my legs went inactive, can I replace her with a new coach? If you add a next coach on the, you can't replace her per se. I mean, unless she quits, but if you add another coach on there that's active, then you'll be fine. Okay. You always have to have at least one coach for an Emerald. You always have to have at least one active coach on each side. Okay. Okay. And then if you get to be Ruby, it's four and diamond, it's four. And then you have to have two Emeralds like, and so yeah, it gets a little, every time you move up in rank, it's shaky. Like I went back and forth on diamond for a couple weeks there. Cause you know, one person goes and then it knocks somebody and then it, you know, goes boop, 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 boop. Um, but yes, you just have to have one active person, but we will, we're That's next week. <laughs> okay. Real quick question though. So she went inactive, but then a purchase was made underneath her. So does that mean that she's active again or once you go inactive or you just, no, as soon as you get that person, 50 personal volume, you go back to active style. Okay. Like if that's you go back in your coach online office, if somebody's about to go act inactive, that's on your team, it like starts flashing red at you. <laughs> you go, ah, ah, inactive. Um, so I can see everybody's status. So, okay. and you all will be able to as well. Okay. Um, so we covered that, um, and you had some information about Instagram posting you wanted to share. Well, it was interesting. So I've been hashtagging like crazy, right? Because mm -hmm. that's how I get followers and that kind of thing. And today something happened where none of my comments would show up. Does this happen to you? Yeah, you put too many hashtags. I did. Yeah. <laughs> so I did, and I didn't know that that could happen. Yeah. So I went back in there and changed it around, but. Just for you Instagram people, if you start using that, I think you can have 30 or less. If you go over 30 or less. But then what I also read is that they're worried that you might be a spammer. So you should go like a bunch of things and post things with no comments. Yeah. Here and there. Okay. So. Yeah. 
I've had that's that never happened to me before on, cause I have three Instagram accounts for different businesses and that never happened. It just is. It doesn't hurt your post or anything. It's just your hashtags go away. They disappear. Well, it hurt my post in that I didn't have any followers. <laughs> so you, can I in and you can put hashtags back in. You just have to put less of them. That's what I did. Yeah. So. I wanted to ask, Ann, how are you, are you able to manage the three Instagram accounts from your phone or is it just from your computer? No, I do it from my phone. You just have to log in and out under different screen names. Okay. Can you, and do you have to have different emails for that or just? Uh, just I do because I have different emails for different businesses. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I was, I'm glad you knew that because I've wondered about that too because some people have accounts that are their personal and then they have feature. I can't manage that many accounts right now on Facebook, but um, that's a good question, Joy. Okay. Um, oh, who asked me? Laura, you asked about what website or app I use to do all my posts. Yes. Um, I use lots of them. Um, so there are a couple places that you can find a list of apps. So um, if you go into our Team Be Fit Facebook group and you click on files at the top, there is a file in there called Social Media Call Notes from Team Endure, June 4th, 2014. And in there is an entire list of video and photo editing apps. So you can- I didn't know if you had a favorite or I do have a couple that I use the most. Um, I have really started liking one called Word Swag. That gives all the cool text options. Um, I use, let me look at my phone real quick so I can tell you. Um, I use, I've downloaded some new ones, but these are, I use InstaFrame Pro. It might be, in, and that lets you put, um, pictures in, you can put collages of pictures in, you can change the frame color, you can change the, you know, if you want sepia, black and white, it lets you add text to pictures. So that's one that I use a lot. Um, I use Pick Play Post for my videos. P-I-C, P-L-A-Y, P-O-S-T. It does the same thing, it allows, that's how you can put videos on Instagram. And um, you can put, you know, like sometimes I have more than one in my frame. Um, just know that on Instagram, your video can't be longer than 50, 15 seconds. Um, so a lot of times what I'll do is do a pick play post for Instagram. And then if I want more, something longer, I'll put the longer one on Facebook. Um, I also like, I use iMovie sometimes for videos. And um, there's an app called iWatermark, which y'all don't need quite yet, but once you um, have a logo, should you design a logo at some point, you can scan it in and you can watermark all your posts so that it has your logo on them. Um, Studio is one I use a lot. Fusel, F-U-Z-E-L. And tags for likes. That's an app where you can go in and, um, okay. I see. Gotcha, Bridget. Um, tags for likes. You can go in and you can, um, search kind of what you're looking for, like motivation, fitness, and it'll pull up a bunch of tags and you could copy and paste them or pick some of them. Um, those are the main ones I'm using right now. I started playing with some video apps, so I'll let you know. Um, and the other place you can find them is in Team Next Level, Michelle Myers just took screenshots of her photo apps and video apps that she uses. And that was maybe in the last four or five days. So you can actually see what she uses and check out if you want to download them. A lot of them are free or they're $1.99 if you want to upgrade. So I would buy, get the free version on someone first, see how you like it. Okay. Um, I also use pickmonkey.com on my computer sometimes to do stuff. Anybody else got any questions? Oh. Um, oh, yes. Something um, important that we, that I learned about this um, 
as a new coach was that, um, you know, some people might think that they're ordering through you and then they're not ordering through you. And just as soon as it happens to you just calm them down and say, it's okay, let me take care of it for you. And then there's just three, you know, three things of information you need to get from, from them. And hopefully you already have one of them. You hopefully you probably already have their email. So you're not asking for so, I mean, I think three just sounds like a lot of things that you're asking for, but, um, but that you can take care of it easily for them and they don't need to worry about it. Yeah. I, I wrote that down. Let me go over that real quick. Cause I know I talked to you about it. So first of all, in team be fit file section, I have a document called steps to order. Um, so check that out because I literally copy and paste that and then just put in the specific information on whatever program they are purchasing for every single person that tells me, yes, they want to buy something. I'll say, okay, are you ready for me to send you the steps to order? Because then that sends them directly step-by-step step to my website. Number two, there's, I just put a, another file in there that will tell you how to find it, but you can go to your previous office view. So when you click coach at the top, instead of going to coach online office, the next one below that says previous office view. And if you go into the previous office view, literally purchases that people make customer orders show up within minutes there. So if someone has told you they placed their order, like they message you say, Oh, I just placed my order. And you go in there and within five or 10 minutes, you're not seeing that order. That means that it didn't go through or somehow at some point in life, they were assigned another coach. And so that their order just went to the other coach. So, um, and in your home page, it usually takes maybe 30 minutes to an hour for it to show up there. So that's why I always, my number nine or last step for every single thing when I tell people to order is let me know you placed your order so that I can make sure everything went through okay. So that way they tell you you can check on it and see. And if it's not there, it's either they thought they finished their order and they didn't because that has happened to people before where they thought they were done, but for whatever reason, it didn't go through. So I always ask, hey, um, I'm not seeing your order in my back office. Did you get a confirmation number flash up on the screen or did they email you an order number? And if they say no, then say, okay, um, let's give it an hour or two and just check um, or wait just a few minutes. I don't want to double charge your card, but you should always, the order confirmation will flash up on your screen when you are done. It lets you know. If they do have an order number, then you just ask them for it. Say, okay, um, can you give me your order number? And I am going to call Coach Relations real quick and check up on your order to see what happened. Because all you need to make sure an order is under you is the person's name, their email address, phone number, or, or home address, some piece of personal information and an order number, that's it. So as long as you have those two things, basically, or their name makes three things, then they don't even have to get into knowing that you're doing that. You can just go take care of it and just tell coach relations. That's all you call it. And then this happens all the time. Uh, I had a customer told me they placed an order. It's not showing up in my office and they'll check. They, you give them the name, they'll check in. They may say, Oh, well they already had a coach, Bob Frank in Michigan. I'm like, well, they're going to be in my challenge group. So they'll say, well, we need to, we need this and this to do a coach change. And so as long as you have their order number and their email or phone number, you're good to go. Cause I don't want y'all losing orders. That's no, good. it happens and it stinks. So Angela, hi, I was saying hi to you. Can you hear me? Hi. Yeah. Okay. Hi, 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 not. but I figured you could since you're still here. <laughs> so anybody else have anything that's come up or questions? Y'all feel pretty good about how it's going to work to do the challenge group and everything moving forward? Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. And reverb. And reverb. 
Um, um, I think it's in Okay. Um, the one that I've got going on now? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of. Kind of yeah, I'll pop you in there. Okay, Lisa Pio Group. And if you all ever want to be in a group that I'm doing, if I'm doing a certain program that maybe you haven't done or you just want to see what's going on, I'm happy to have you in there. So, and I know Joy and I talked about this a little bit. Um, if you're feeling overwhelmed with, like, if you're in a challenge group and you're trying to, then you're also in our coach training group and stuff. If you don't necessarily, don't feel like you have to post every single day. If you're in one of my challenge groups, like my pile group, or Joy would say, I know you all are coaches and you're trying to figure all this out and you have jobs and families and kids. So if you're not posting, don't feel like bad or that I'm going to be like, she's not posting in my group. I understand. Okay. So if you want to, and that's, that helps you be motivated. Yes, do it. But if don't feel pressure to do it. If you just don't have time, like, oh, I didn't, I didn't put in my sweaty workout picture today. It's okay. I'm having faith that you drank your shake and you did your workout. Anything else before we wrap it up? Y'all feeling okay? Yeah. Feeling good. Feeling good. <laughs> I, I, I do feel like a teacher right now. I know several of you are where I just ask the question and everyone stares at you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Um, if you all think of more questions, ask me. And um, there'll be a couple posts tomorrow, but then there's all weekend to get caught up on everything. So. I have a quick question. I have a quick question. Okay. Besides Anne, um, on this team, yeah. right, um, yeah. right on here right now, um, Kelly does. Her husband just signed up. Oh, that's it. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Okay. So I'll just tell so you. I'll just tell you. I'm to to have some have some for me. Don't be. That's what this is for. Like that's what I spent the entire month of July doing, is taking everything that I learned at Summit and trying to put a very specific system in place that is going to be easily duplicated by you all. And I'm also going to help you like the, as we first get in this, as you sign new coaches, I'm going to give you the tools to get them started. Right. But I'm also going to help you. That's, that's part of the reason we're doing the challenge groups like this and the coach training and everything so that we can kind of all be doing things together and on the same page. If that's happening in their systems in place, it's going to be a lot easier for you guys to to feel comfortable about what to do with your new coaches when they come on. So I have all that. Like I have a letter to, if somebody signs on, it's not, you know, your spouse or mom who, you know, actually wants to do something. Um, I have all that, you know, for you. And, and part of this coach group, we're going to go through some of that too. So you'll feel more confident with it, but it is scary. It is scary in the beginning to, to feel like you're responsible. And, um, you know, I've learned a lot. I definitely, like, probably one of the first coaches, a couple of coaches I signed up, I didn't do a very good job <laughs> being, helping them because I, I just didn't know really how to do it. So, um, but I feel like I do. And then once you start feeling that confidence, it's going to be a lot easier for you to present the business to people. So, and there's going to be a coach training group every single month from now on forever. <laughs> every first Monday of every month forever. So any coach that you sign on, you know, you will know that they have a training group coming if they're ready. That's the plan. I plan out through January, January right now. Calendars. Would you, would like, you like, like, that is always um, 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 would you suggest that, suggest that family members or, or, or family close to your first two first two first two yeah, I think it always it's helpful if if you can do that because you know they're not going anywhere. Um, and then like I was explaining this to Kelly the other day. So and Sarah talked a little bit about this if y'all got on her call the other day. Um, so <clears throat> Chris is a coach. <laughs> he's Emerald. Woo, he's worked so hard. Um, but I go into his account, I manage his stuff. Um, but that volume that's there. So anybody that comes down on that side, that's basically just coming back to your house, to you, you know, like 
I see. I see. The money is just going to come. The bonuses and stuff is just going to come, end up coming back to, to your account. Does that make sense? Oh, it might not make sense, but it will make sense when we talk about it more. I know. So. I watched that. 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 I'm sure. Yeah, it's, it, it takes a little bit to figure it out. And people start talking about this leg and that leg and the strong leg and the weak leg and putting people here and there and all this kind of stuff. Um, my personal opinion on it is that it's, if you can do it, it's nice to have family members or your spouse and right under you on your left and right. For me, I just think it's nice because, A, I manage Chris's stuff, so, it, you know, I'm doing that. And the other one's my dad. You know, my other first coach was my dad. Um, so, you know, when he didn't have his volume, I called him. It's like, you need to buy a box of bars. <laughs> You're short. <laughs> $10. What are you doing? Consider it a $10 investment in your daughter. Bye. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> so... Yeah. Um, the rest of the calls for the will be shorter than this one um, unless you all have like tons of burning questions which I'm happy for you all to have but they'll kind of there'll be a, little, a few little things that we talk about specifically but then kind of how the conversation will go will be depending on what kind of things you guys are coming up with that you want to talk about sound good sounds good, sounds good. all right well, I know school starts here tomorrow and some other places and we have sleepy teachers on the line and stuff. So um, if y'all don't have anything else, then we will go. Did y'all like this? The yeah. yeah. Oh, it was great. It was great. Okay, good. Thank you. Holly. And everybody's Holly. In, now and everybody's in Nashville for Summit next year. Yay! Yay. We all know each other. <laughs> <laughs> I know you all, but then you guys will all know each other. So, <laughs> okay. Well, you guys have a good night. And if you think of questions, let me know. Okay. Okay. Bye. 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 Bye.